Hello everybody, bonjour à tous. Today I'm going to be taking over the Instagram story for AIFS. I'm currently studying abroad in Paris, France, but I normally go to school at University of Arkansas and I study French, um, earth science and anthropology. So I study here in Paris at the Sorbonne or a division of the Sorbonne called Corps de Civilisation de France, CCFS. And it's been great. I'll take you along my day and show you what I normally get up to in Paris. I have French class every single day from 10 to 12 and phonetics class, which is where we just put on headphones and really correct our speaking from 12.30 to 1.30. But today my professor is sick, so I'm just gonna be at home drawing, painting, enjoying my morning off school. Um, every day I do walk to school, it's about an hour. I live in the third in Paris, which is on the right bank, the Rive Droite, and my school is on the left bank in the seventh, very close to the Eiffel Tower. So it's about an hour, two and a half, three miles, and I love my walk. I get to walk past the Louvre, the Tuileries Gardens. Um, it's just really beautiful and a good way to get to see Paris. take public transport. Um, in Paris, it's very easy to get around. There's the metro and then there's buses. You can buy a pass for both. It's 84 euros a month. It's called a Navigo. It's very easy. A single ride on the metro is just around 210 and I just do that because I prefer to walk and it's it's been good so far. Um, you can take RER trains to get outside of Paris, like to go to Versailles, to go to Charles de Gaulle, to go to um, Disneyland Paris. And then you can take trains like the TGV to get to any big city or any smaller city in France or in Europe. I just took a train last weekend and I went to Bayon, France. It's in the very south by Spain. So it's very easy to get around. My favorite thing about Paris so far has honestly just been how pretty the city is. There's always so much to do and so much to see. And just taking a walk through any part of it has felt so, it's just so beautiful. Um, I love going up to Montmartre. I love going to the river. I love just walking through all of the different parks and gardens. There's so many gardens and parks here. It's really fun. Um, yeah, and I like I like the culture too. I like that versus in the United States, there's longer lunches, you know, there's more relaxation, there's more just enjoying the city. I really like it. Just in my own experience, I found it a little bit difficult to actually meet local Parisian people while being a student abroad because I go to school with lots of other exchange students also trying to learn French. So I don't really meet a lot of French people. I know the man who like gives me my bread each day. I know the people at the local coffee shops, the cafes, but um, yeah, I would say for me, it's just been difficult to meet French people. I have a few French friends and they're very nice, but um, in general, the locals are nice. Um, there are different like cultural standards to be aware of. Generally, don't talk on the subway. Don't talk really loud. Um, say bonjour, bonsoir, whenever you go in somewhere. Um, be polite. It's a little more typical to be formal to strangers in France versus the States. Obviously, I can only speak about the States because I have never really traveled anywhere else. Obviously, that is just my experience in Paris. I've only been here for a few months. Um, everybody's experience will vary. And like I said, there's going to be different cultural customs in every country you go to. So just be aware of those. Um, just kind of do your research a little bit before you come and you'll pick it up really fast. And I wouldn't say that French fall under the stereotype of being rude or whatever else. studying French at university. I've studied it for a few years and I chose Paris mostly because it's the capital of France and you just hear so much about the French culture and how Paris has been such a central point of France for so long. So it was mostly because I just knew that this was going to be like a very good French immersion experience and it has been. However, I've traveled to southern France and a few other places and all of France is beautiful. All of France is wonderful, a good experience. So. I wouldn't say that Paris is the best option above others. Actually, um, I didn't expect this to be one of my favorite things, but I really like the organization of your day here. I like 
uh, waking up later, eating breakfast later. Uh, my classes don't start till 10, which is pretty early for, like, I don't know of anybody else who has class earlier than that. Um, and they go a little bit later. I have classes that go until six some days and then um you find places to eat that are open until midnight on any day of the week um there's things to do at night on any day of the week especially in paris and people just i don't know it's kind of a, a nice culture of hanging out and there's always people out and about at the cafes etc Since it's a Friday night, I'm gonna go out and about with some friends, just go to a few cafes and sit around and have a good time. But I'm gonna go ahead and sign off of the Instagram. Thank you so much for watching my stories and asking me questions and feel free to reach out to me on my personal Instagram if you have any more questions about the application process, the visa, um, just living in France, feel free to reach out. Thank you so much.